The man accused of killing a woman in a random interstate highway rampage near the Wisconsin Dells and deliberately killing a West Dallas man made his first court appearance today. Zachary Hayes faces homicide charges in both Milwaukee and Sauk counties. Jonah Kaplan takes us inside the courtroom. The full court proceedings inside the courtroom today lasted less than five minutes, a stark contrast to what Hayes is alleged to have done, a nearly day-long crime spree. The state of Wisconsin versus Zachary T. Hayes. Appearances, please. He appeared in handcuffs with one arm in a sling. The 20-year-old's first court appearance comes more than a month after he was charged. Much of the time spent recuperating in the hospital after being shot by an officer. Mr. Helen, have you and your client received a copy of the criminal complaint? We have uh, received a copy of the criminal complaint, Judge, and we'll waive its reading. Hayes faces a first-degree reckless homicide in Milwaukee County and four other charges, including homicide, here in Sauk County. The alleged crime spree started on a Sunday morning at this apartment building on 92nd and Arthur. That's where investigators say Hayes broke into one family's home and killed 42-year-old Gabriel Sanchez. Court documents say later that afternoon, Hayes and his two brothers headed for the Wisconsin Dells. Jeremy Hayes told police his brother Zachary was particularly paranoid about the tinted windows, and Jeremy was freaked out about a sedan. From the driver's seat, Zachary Hayes opened fire on that sedan and killed 44-year-old Tracy Chichkowski. The penalty, if convicted of that offense, would be imprisonment for life. Hayes will be back in court next month, tonight at 6, how his attorney plans to defend his client and avoid some of those very harsh penalties. In Baraboo, South County, Jonah Kaplan, today's TMJ4. And Hayes is being held in the Sauk County Jail. A doctor's report is due to Milwaukee County Court later this month.